All right, so in this exam, you will see two types of solving proportions problem, and we will solve both in this video. We are going to learn how to solve the proportion in this problem, and that means that we want to find what the value of x is. Now, when we have two fractions, this first fraction and the second fraction that are set equal to one another, that means that we can cross multiply. Now, when we cross multiply, it means that we are going to take each denominator and multiply by the opposite numerator. So it's going to look like this. We are going to multiply the denominator 2 by the opposite numerator, x plus 2. And we're going to set it equal to the denominator 5 times the opposite numerator, which is 2x plus 1. Value of x in order to find its value. So we are going to start off by distributing this 2 into the parentheses. And we have 2 times x, which is 2x, and 2 times 2, which is 4 equals 5 times 2x, which is 10x, and 5 plus 5 times 1, which is 5. All right, so now we are going to combine like terms. We are going to add up all the variables w together. So these are our two variables. This will cancel out. And we are going to add all of our constants together. So we have 4 minus 5, which gives us negative 1, equals 10x minus 2x, which gives us a positive 8x. Now, in order to find the value of x, we want to isolate it, so we're going to divide 8 on both sides. And now we have x equal to negative 1 8. So that's going to be the value of x, and that's going that's, this is the value that's going to solve this proportion if you plug in the values negative 1 8 into the x values. So we solve this um, proportion by cross-multiplying to find the value of x. Now we are going to see how to solve another type of solving proportions problem. All right, so in this problem, you are, s you are given that the ratios are directly proportional and you want to find the missing variable. So when you are given that the ratios are directly proportional, you can use any of these formulas over here in order to solve. So in this case, we have y1 x2 and y2 and we want to find the very the value of the variable x1 now you can use any of these formulas because they will all work because all of them are directly proportional so we will solve this problem using each one of the each one of the um, formulas to see that each one will give you the same answer so let's start off with our first um, formula and make sure that you know that these colons over here are another way of writing division. So this is just another way of writing a division sign. All right, so we have, in our first formula, we have x1 divided by y1 is equal to x2 divided by y2. So now we just have to plug in the values. x1 is our missing variable, so it will stay our missing variable. And y1 is equal to eight, while we have x2 in the numerator, which is 14, divided by y2, which is 4. So now again, we can cross multiply because we have two um, fr fractions that are set equal to one another. So we are going to multiply the opposite denominator by the opposite numerator. All right, so we have 4 times x1, which is 4x1, equal to, four, uh, equal to 8 times 14. All right, so now let's simplify. We have 4x1 equal to 8 times 14. Now, in order to solve this multiplication problem, you can do 10 times 8, which is equal to 80. And you have 8 times 4, which is equal to 32. And once you add them together, you get 112. So that's what 8 times 14 equals. And in order to find the, var the value of x1, we are going to divide 4 on both sides. So now we have x1, which is equal to 112 divided by 4, which gives us 28. So that's going to be the value of x1 when we use the first formula, and that's answer D. All right, so in our second formula, we have x1 divided by x2, which is equal to y1 divided by y2. So now let's plug in the numbers that we have. We have x1, which is our missing variable, divided by x2, which is our 14 equal to y1, which is 8, divided by y2, which is 4. All right, so now again, we can cross multiply, or you can simplify this fraction on the right-hand side. And 8 divided by 4 will simplify to 2. So we have x1 divided by 14 equals 2. 
Now, in order to isolate the, va the variable x1, we have to multiply 14 on both sides. And once we do so, we have x1 equal to 2 times 14, which gives us 28, just like we got with our first, fra with our first um, formula over here. All right, so now we're going to solve using our third formula. All right, so now using our third formula, we have y1 divided by x1 equals y2 divided by x2. So when we plug in our values, y1 is 8 divided by x1, which is our missing variable, equal to y2, which is 4, divided by x2, which is 14. So again, we are going to cross multiply, and that means that we have 14 times 8 equal to x1 times 4. And now when we simplify, we said that 14 times 8 gives us 112 equals x1 times 4, which gives us 4x1. Now in order to isolate this x1 to find its value, we want to divide 4 on both sides. And now we have x1 equals 112 divided by 4, which gives us 28, just like we got in the rest of our answers. Now we are going to solve using our last and final formula over here. All right, so in our final formula, we have x2 divided by x1 equals y2 divided by y1. So let's plug in our values. x2 is going to be our 14 divided by x1, which is our missing variable, equals y2, which is 4, divided by y1, which is 8. All right, so now we can cross multiply again, or you can also simplify this right hand, the right hand side of the fraction, but it is not a must. So let's go ahead and straight and um, cross multiply. So we have 8 times 14 equals 4 times x1. So again, if we simplify, 8 times 14 gives us 112 equals 4 times x1, which gives us 4x1. Now we want to isolate this x1 to find its value, so we are going to isolate it by dividing 4 on both sides. And again, 112 divided by 4 gives us 28. So the value of x1 is 28, just like we got in all the rest of our formulas. So make sure that you take a picture or write down all the formulas that are given here for solving directly proportion, direct proportional ratios, and that is how you can solve these problems.